contender. Now, what's going on here? I felt tucked up behind Fernando Alonso. Is he going to make a Coulthard esque move? Alonso doesn't encourage it. He goes defensive, makes Heidfeld go around the outside. Remember, uh, turn four is an option as well here for passing. If you can't make it stick in turns one and two, we saw it in the GP2 race. This is coming up to turn four now. Heidfeld again being forced to go the long way around. And this is personal in Germany. This is Mercedes Benz versus BMW and BMW pass. That's a great move again from Nick Heidfeld. We're seeing some supreme driving skills out there on a challenging and slippery offline racetrack. Heidfeld just took to the outside. The grippier line, it has to be said, but Alonso just could not hold him off. And there'll be some long faces on the McLaren pit wall with that one. BMW getting in the mix. And uh, he's how far behind is he now from Hamilton? He's only about six seconds behind Hamilton. And uh, Raikkonen is, here we go. This is up to turn four. It's very slippery where Fernando is now. Nick Heidfeld knows that, knows that he's up against a class driver who's not going to run him off the road and put him upside down, tangling wheels. And uh, ooh, that's very, very good driving. And he picks up some traction through the exit. Super. Great wheel-to-wheel -wheel action here in Bahrain, as we've seen over the three previous Grand Prix here. It is a track you definitely can overtake on, designed by Herman Tilke. And Mario Tyson, the 